Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I know I look like a professional landscaper, but I'm not. Anyway, uh, today I want to do a another get home bag video. Um, this one's going to be a little bit different from my last one, hopefully not as long. Now, I did get uh, some slight negative feedback about the length of my videos. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, I was born before the internet and I have an attention span. I'm sorry, uh, not picking on you younger guys. And if you're dialed in today, then you're probably pretty tuned into the idea. Um, but anyway, this one is going to be uh, generated around the one hour commuter. And the reason for that is I feel like that's pretty standard. Um, I live in a, a rural area. I'm not anywhere near a city. I'm about 45 minutes to an hour from the largest city, you know, which is Charlotte, North Carolina, um, one of the largest cities in the state of North Carolina. So uh, a lot of people live out here. I used to do it, uh, just kind of hop on a few back roads and you hit a highway, you shoot into the city. So this bag is going to be, like I said, generated around the one hour commuter. Um, you can work in the mountains, you can work in the city, you can work anywhere in the Piedmont area, you know, the flatlands. Um, I think I've got enough things in this bag to show you guys what you need to get home. If you pull up on Google Maps, pick a destination, and give or take, uh, if you drive an hour, you're looking at probably uh, 20 to 25 hours of walking time. Um, terrain considered, I'm assuming. I don't really know. Like I said, I just use Google Maps. But uh, this is the gear that I'm comfortable with. I'm going to show you how I pack it down. I'm going to show you what I put it in. I'm going to show you what I've got, what I use. And uh, we're gonna, and this is also, this is going to be an extension of your EDC, basically. Um, you guys uh, that have seen my channel before, uh, you know that uh, I'm a fan of uh, not putting a pack in a car or a vehicle and not going through it. I use my stuff, you know, that way I know what's in there. I know my batteries are good, you know, I know my how many band-aids I have. I almost used one earlier and I decided not to because I, I really don't use band-aids that much, but I may need one in a pinch. So anyway, uh, we're going to flip the camera around here and I'm going to show you, I'm going to start off with my, my typical EDC and then we're going to go from there and then uh, at the towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you the, the few extras that I'm going to throw in here um, for me personally that I think is going to best suit me. Yours may be different. A lot of this stuff may be different, but I'm just going to show you what I'm doing and kind of give you an idea of uh, what you would need for the one hour commuter. All right, guys, let's do it. All right, guys, jumping into it real quick. Um, this is my typical EDC. Now, obviously, when I'm at work, I'm carrying a tool belt, so I don't have, like, the gun and all this stuff on me. Um, I've got headlamps and different things that I use for work. But if I am out with the family, you know, I consider that my typical EDC. Uh, you know, things like that when I'm not working, because that can change some things. So, uh, I typically roll with, you know, Glock 19 with an inside the waistband Kydex holster. Extra magazine, at least one, sometimes two, depends. You got your wallet. This is my flashlight of choice. Uh, the ProTac 1L or 1AA, and also we found in a previous video of mine that you can also use 1AAA in this, and it will still work. It's not as bright, but it works. So dual fuel, guys, dual fuel. And uh, for those of you that like your rechargeable stuff, well, today... Uh, we're going to just pretend that you can't recharge anything. Um, your phones don't work, you know, what, or, hope, or hopefully they do, but maybe they don't. So maybe your car doesn't work. That's what we're getting to here. SHTF to the freaking max. As long as you don't have a nuke dropped on your head, you should be able to get home. One hour commuter. Okay. So this is the flashlight that I really, really like. Um, it has the reversible clip here. You can clip it onto a hat uh, this way. <laughs> or on your pocket this way. So, uh, really awesome flashlight. Uh, I forgot, I think this thing's like 350 lumens or something on high. Anyway, this thing will light up a field like nobody's business. It's awesome. It's not that big. Uh, like I said, I got larger hands, but um, you can see. So anyway, bench made folder, uh, you know, pocket knife with a little lanyard to put on there. I always carry a bandana. Um, I used to carry your typical cowboy style bandanas in different colors and stuff, but you know, gangs and their colors and whatnot. So I go with camo if I needed to tie something around my face for whatever reason, try and hide a little bit. Um, I wear, guys, I'm wearing my glasses right now, but my coast is, uh, I love these things. These are glass, scratch resistant. They don't give me a headache. I get migraines, um, sometimes light induced, I think. 
so the glass ones are polarized if i'm fishing i can see like really deep in the water i can see some fish that most people can't see but uh and a protector for my glasses uh that just kind of comes with it so this is my typical edc now the rest of the stuff i'm going to show you is an extension of that but it like i said for the one hour commuter uh the 20 to 25 hour walker this really should get you home so i'm going to drag this stuff out of the way and i'm going to show you el uh what else i have okay all right guys so the um the rule of thumb typically is uh food water fire shelter um i want to throw a little bit of extra in there too and obviously medical you got to have some medical they don't mention that in the old rule of thumb so food guys uh you don't want to stop and cook food. You don't want to go look for it. So I found these SOS rations. And this is a 1.6 such pound. What does it say? 1.66 pounds. Almost two pounds. Or a little over uh, a pound and a half. This is lifeboat food. It's what they put on lifeboats. And this has like the uh, sort of a compressed vacuum sealed mylar. This one's been compromised. I knocked a hole in it, and that's why there's tape on it. And I actually ate one of the bars out of it because of that. Guys, check them out. They uh, go on their website. They've got a couple of different things and a couple of different uh, companies. Um, this one, I'm going to repackage. So it has nine bars in it. So basically, this is three days of food rations. There's uh, three here, three here, and then two here, like I said, because I ate one. Um, I'm going to repackage these because, <coughs> excuse me, I don't want to waste them. Uh, sorry, have allergies really bad. Um, but you, there's a company called uh, New Millennium, and they have the single bars um, packaged, and you can find them on the uh, SOS uh, Rations website. Um, you can get a case of them on Amazon. I think it's like 18 bars for 35 bucks in different flavors. Um, I'm going to go with that, um, too. I'm going to get some of those and uh, probably keep three with me. So that is about you know a day's worth of food each bar is 400 calories so uh you know if you go to mcdonald's you're looking at like six seven eight hundred calories to a thousand more calories than you need um these bars and the other company as well the new millennium uh they do not induce thirst they're not like super salty or nothing like that but they have everything that you need to keep going and have some energy I really like this because I don't have to cook nothing. I don't have to look for nothing. I don't have to worry about, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, the only reason I'm going to repackage these, like I said, is I've already bought it and I don't want to waste it. Um, I'm going to throw it in some Mylar, put some oxygen absorbers in there. And so I'll have, you know, this is a day right here. There's another three bars right here. That's a day. And I've got two, which I might put in the day pack or something. And, you know, when we take the kids out. So check this stuff out, guys. Um, they've got different stuff. They've got what they call airplane food uh this is lifeboat food they, whatever i don't really know the difference uh, some of them are i think this whole thing is uh i believe it's 3600 calories for this whole thing um so this is three people for one day or one person for three days you know you can do the math on that anyway check it out uh it's really not that expensive the only thing is if you order off their website you go to order cases of it you can get a single one of these for I think around twelve dollars off Amazon, you can just get one of these if you want to do that and repackage it like I'm going to do. I've already got the Mylar bags in the uh, oxygen oxygen absorbers, so um, you know. But just kind of go from there. Check that out. Okay, that's your food. That's all the food you're going to need um, to get home for the one hour commuter who could possibly have to do an overnight somewhere. And that is one thing about this pack. It's set up in case you got to, uh, you know stay in somebody's shed finding a car uh to sleep in anything really so that's food now water i keep one of these with me uh anywhere i go it's usually full now if you got to refill it guys if you're working in a city or somewhere there's dollar generals everywhere i mean walk around behind them see if you see a spigot typically you're not going to see a knob on the water spigot so get yourself a silcock key for about eight nine bucks i think at lowe's this is the cobalt brand Irwin makes one there's uh different things but they got looks like a tire tool kind of 
four different sizes um, and you can turn the water on fill your stuff up turn it back off and leave now you'll have that chlorinated uh, city or county water but it's better than nothing it's better than drinking out of a creek that you know cows have crapped in and pastures nearby so um, this is part of your water kit okay so you got a water bottle you know some kind of container now and I keep this in my med kit in the front pouch but these aqua tabs um, a lot of these if you look at them they sell some things at Academy there's stuff all over Amazon most of that stuff um, it's like one tablet per liter you drop it in there and you got to wait four hours okay this stuff right here is like 30 or 35 minutes these are 49 milligram tablets okay and I did the math on it me and my wife did and uh, one tablet will do I think it's 25.6 ounces of water in 35 minutes now your typical Nalgene bottle is 32 ounces so if you want to drop down here to 26 or a little bit less ounces and just get it as correct as you can I'm not gonna lie if it's just me don't do what I'm gonna do don't uh, take my recommendations on it um, you do what you want to do I'm probably just gonna do one tablet to 32 ounces because I think it'll be fine this right here does do viruses and uh, cysts and things like that uh, you know Giardia all that stuff um, and I think it's better than a water filter um, you know you can get your Sawyer minis and all that stuff but I can throw this in there if I'm get you know if I'm low on water I can go ahead and drink the rest of what I got throw one of these in there I can throw a bandana over the top of this bottle keep some of the trash out fill it up put one of these in here and in 30 minutes you know when I get thirsty again I should be good to go so if you you know as long as you the company's right and you trust them so I like this option right here now boiling water is hands down the best way to treat water as long as you you filter it out filter the trash out and uh, boil it then you know for like three minutes then you're fine you're good to go that's hands down the best way then you can get your water filters if you want to I just I don't trust them as much as boiling and I don't trust them as much as this as long as I can trust this I don't know I mean we only we have what we have guys so there are I think there's 50 tablets in this packet I think I got this for around 15 bucks or something on Amazon um, I'm probably gonna repackage this I ripped it open to check it out but anyway aqua tabs um, five strips of ten so 50 yeah there's 50 in here so one of these for me I'm just gonna do to 32 ounces because this is the standard container that most people carry um, I just really like these plastic bottles no you I mean you can boil water in this I wouldn't unless I really really had to but guys if you don't have any of this stuff and there's some questionable water and you think you are about to just thirst to death like not gonna make it without drinking something drink something nasty I mean go ahead and do it if you think you can get home and do it but here's the deal um, say you're like well I've got some uh, metronidazole at home or something to kind of take care of my giardia or my diarrhea or whatever guys you can do that um, if you have to but try not to try to go ahead and take care of yourself now because you don't want to dip into your supplies that you've got at home that you might need later if you got an shtf situation and it's that hard to get home you don't want to go ahead and uh cash in your supplies before you get home you might need that for your family so go ahead and take care of yourself now okay so we're going to drop this back now um medical now here's my medical pack this is typically in the front here this is a max edition i think it's a fatty pack i keep my water tablets in here in the front for easy grab and also i keep some wet ones in here uh guys not to be nasty but you've ever been hiking a lot um you can get an itchy butt or you know anything's you might have to move a dead animal if you find somewhere to sleep or whatever wet ones are awesome these are antibacterial kills 99.99 percent of germs like everything else in the world uh it's just like a towelet towelette however you want to say it um i keep about i don't know six of these with me at all times so that and my water is right there in the front now let's open this thing up and uh it's a good idea you don't have to um but 
I bought one of these morale, morale pouches. I just went ahead and did it. I just put it on here because uh, somebody might find you laying out and they might have to go through your stuff and help you if anybody's that kind. Um, so that just kind of makes it easier for them, really. Uh, plus, it just, like I said, it just looks cool on the gear. Uh, so, in my med kit, starting off on this back pouch here. Um, I keep bandanas all over my stuff. Uh, you guys that have watched my videos before know this already. I'm bandana heavy most of the time. Now, we're trying to keep less gear in this pack. Uh, you might find some things you want or need along the way, and you just don't want to have to carry a bunch of extra stuff you don't need. Like I said, you're thinking, well, I only drove an hour from the house. But then you think, well, it might take me 25 hours to get home or more. Who knows? Uh, so just kind of leave it loose. You know what I mean? I mean, not everybody's taking an AR and 10 mags with them all the time, plus their pistol and all that stuff and all this other crap. Let's be realistic. Let's be an everyman about this situation. You know what I mean? So I keep a bandana in my med kit, and it's a red one just because, I don't know, uh, red reminds me of medical stuff. Um, now on this side, I've got this little Swiss Army knife. It's a tiny little Swiss or Victorinox classic. It's got the uh, tweezers on the one side. It's got the toothpick on the other. Um, scissors in there. And there's some extra blades in here and some small screwdrivers and stuff. Cool little thing to have, but mainly for the tweezers and the toothpick is why I have it. And the small scissors uh, grooming tool. You might be sitting around, uh, can't go anywhere for a while, pouring down rain. You got a mustache hair that's just really bothering you. That happens to me a lot. So uh, you can clip it off of that thing. All right, uh, chapstick. Uh, wind might be blowing really bad. Um, had a situation with my wife the other weekend in a canoe, and the wind was just awful, and it was all we could do to get back to the truck kind of thing. And my lips were so chapped, and I just didn't have any chapstick with me at the time because you know we didn't have it in our fishing gear but uh chapstick i mean it's it's kind of a kind of a medical thing it's i feel like it's right up there with band-aids and stuff so skin glue uh you might get a little gash you can clean out and just kind of glue it back together wait a second throw a band-aid on it uh it's basically like super glue for your skin uh, i keep a couple of those and i keep a couple of these wound seals in case it gets a little bit deeper than that now guys i'm going to show you uh i was whittling on some wood uh several years back with a pocket knife and my wife was uh she said hey check out this on the tv real quick and i looked up without thinking and i cut through my hand i cut all the way through this side of my hand and that little bump right there is part of the scar uh but it just went all the way through you guys like your uh, knives really sharp yeah so do i so you can kind of see it there. It just went all the way through the palm of my hand. A small little thing like that can really, really set you back. I mean, I had to go to the emergency room to get eight stitches in the side of my hand uh, at about one o'clock in the morning. Um, I could see the fat in my hand and it, I was bleeding everywhere. Um, that would be a bad day. And it was so easy to do. I was just sitting there and she said, hey, look at this. And I just went whoosh, without thinking. So think about that guys um, especially if you're in a bad situation you're really trying to get home all right moving on these little small cock i think it's coglins uh they make a bunch of different little generic camping things these small rolls of toilet paper i feel like this would probably get me through a 24 or such hour period um if i have to use leaves i will i have before and other things too um but i keep it rolled up in a bag because these things get you know a little dusty over time um and they break down so now this is uh something that you may not care about it depends on the time of year these little uh repel 40 percent deet i don't like putting chemicals on me guys but this stuff here works and i hate mosquitoes i cannot stand mosquitoes it's hard to concentrate on something or be serious about a situation when you were just getting ate up with bugs they're flying in your eyes and your ears and everything so consider these little small they take up no room it's a spray bottle pop the cap off of it spray it um that stuff does work it really does mosquitoes love me i'm sorry uh tack bivy 
okay if you're getting hypothermic um or if you just need like a little semi waterproof shelter thing to kind of crawl into this is like a co cocoon style uh mylar uh bivy that you can crawl into just to kind of keep you warm help you uh retain body heat and things like that but will also uh it'll keep the rain off of you but uh it's gonna it's not gonna wick moisture guys you, you could sweat like crazy in this thing um i like this one it's just a little bit better than the little folded up foil blankets if you want to use those that's fine too i mean whatever you want to do but uh i just and this one comes with a little whistle that's fun you know so i throw that in there now uh part of my trauma stuff is uh i like the rat tourniquets i like how they fold up and i've just kind of gotten used to using these things um you know you make a loop you wrap it around your arm and you hook it in here and then you cinch it down uh there's videos on that if you want to check that out from a medical professional um i'm not going to get into all that rat tourniquet i like these they fit in here pretty good in these little molly webbing things so i've got a uh a, some vinyl gloves uh, you can use you know whatever you want the latex or you know that this stuff comes out of a med kit uh, now I have robbed <laughs> med kits from several jobs that I've had before um, I feel like that stuff's there for me and I will take something here or there it's probably about the most dishonest thing I've ever done in my life is kind of steal from med kits and I just here and there and they refill them a lot of times if you work for a good company every month so medical tape for galls so you get a gas you clean it out um wrap some galls around it and you make your basically make yourself a large band-aid uh right here is some uh, extra strength tylenol guys uh if you get migraines it will work um you know your back might hurt and it might be kind of uh, inhibiting you from getting home as quick as you wanted to tylenol uh, guys arthritis anything okay it's just a good thing to have if you want to throw some allergy pills in here or whatever else you like some excedrin uh go for that i'm trying to keep it simple tylenol works for pretty much everything you start feeling a fever coming on and you know it so grab some tylenol and uh like i said in a this is getting you through one day so now there's a little back zipper pouch in here and most of my extra stuff i keep in a ziploc bag like this just to keep it compressed down keep the air out of it and everything now what i've got in here is an assortment of things i typically keep you know a few uh cotton swabs you never know um what you might need these for your ears uh a cut maybe you got some kind of debris in your gun uh and you can't get any get it out so i typically keep a, a few assorted band-aids in here some large ones some medium ones uh might have some small ones in here i'm not big on the boo-boo stuff i do it a little bit but you never know uh, they say the smallest pain is the biggest burden um, i've got a few medium-sized galls in here to kind of go along with the medical tape um these are large band-aids um they have adhesive on them and these uh you just have to wrap medical tape on them now for convenience and irritation insect protection cream i've got these in here just because they're small and they pack down easy that's basically uh like your bug spray you know some sunscreen a couple packets of those um you might want to put that on your face you might be able to cover everything else uh some burn cream you may need to start a fire to keep warm so it's a good idea to you know anytime you're messing around fire just have a little bit of this on you uh just kind of keep it going um antibiotic ointment you know sort of like neosporin you got your alcohol swabs if you really need to clean something out sting relief in case you've already been bitten uh the, now benadryl makes a gel and i don't know if you want to carry that whole bottle with you if they have something smaller but it works really good i get ant bites on my feet all the time because i'll walk around barefoot in the woods and stuff um ants really chew me up and spiders too for some reason so and uh your quick clean antiseptic hand wipes so a lot of this is kind of redundant but like i said it packs down small it's not a big deal we just keep it in the back of the med kit so that's pretty much my med and trauma kit um and plus like i said i keep the water tablets in the front that's kind of how i do that uh i feel like that's going to get me through my 24 hour 
period or my my one hour commute okay so that's uh food water and medical now let's jump over to fire just in case you need to stay warm you might made you not have to make a signal fire i mean who knows i mean heck you might get trapped out there for a month who knows you might need to cook something so got these small packs here this is a maxpedition mini it does have the velcro on the front they make a smaller one called the micro i have used it in the past but i like this one just because i can put a few more things in it now i typically um i like to have at least two of everything uh, or three of everything so i've got this little uh exotac um, fire striker here and this one has the striker on it um and then you take this part off and uh these are replaceable by the way if you completely wear this down you can reorder these and they're threaded you just screw them back in but they have little o-rings on them keeps it watertight but you can just strike that um, they're pretty sharp they work really good so I keep that in there just because it's so small and you're probably going to get like i don't know twenty thousand strikes off that so uh if all else fails you will have that um big lighters guys they don't make anything better than a big lighter these work you can take a small a one of those really small uh zip ties and put it around here and keep that from being depressed and your gas won't leak out if you want to do that i've never had an issue in one of these pouches um, and some matches and I label my stuff too. Um, I use these little Coglin uh, tubes you can get off of Amazon. Uh, they're little match boxes. I use them for everything. They've got a, a rubber o-ring on them. So I've got matches in this one and in this one I've got some Vaseline soaked cotton balls. Um, I actually learned from Such. So check his channel out if you don't know who he is. If you don't you probably haven't been on YouTube very much. But I can fit about seven of those in here and uh the the bottom couple kind of get kind of hard to get out so if you want to like whittle a little hook and a stick and dig that out if you really got down that far but guys you can light these with a lighter match fire striker whatever and they will sit there and they will burn for a good long while you can put little sticks on them and you can build a really good fire these things are awesome taught my wife how to use these she likes them so also i keep a little bit of a uh, duct tape on this you can start a fire with a duct tape a piece of duct tape or electrical tape or gorilla tape um, and it will burn for just a little bit so that's another option for tinder too um, now these tinder tabs i've got some of these in here uh, you can order these everywhere um, they work pretty good too you can kind of take one out and sort of tear it up a little bit flare it out make it a little bit bigger it'll catch a spark better um and give you a little bit more surface area when you're trying to start a fire with these things uh these are pretty good too and also in the back of this is uh i go ahead and cut my little match striking surfaces off of my boxes and just kind of put them in here just to save some room um that's one thing i do these uh this brand i can't remember what it is um they make the the yellow container like these match boxes with the storm matches in it they're so big they're way bigger than these and it doesn't fit in my thing very well so i take those matches i put them in this container and i just fold these up and stick them in this um, and i've got way more room for my stuff so that's pretty much my fire kit right there guys if you can't get a fire started with that and this is small too you might want to drop your pack uh go somewhere to start a fire away from you for whatever reason you might have bear around you and you want to cook some food but you want to keep it away from your camp um, if you're thinking that far ahead or you think you're going to be out that long this is a good little option you can throw this in your back pocket or something pretty good size like i said it's about you know hand size so all right guys we've got food water we got fire we got medical covered now shelter um, if nothing else, we're talking bare minimum. Get you one of these, uh, what is it, three mil or six mil? I'm not sure. These really tough contractor trash bags. Guys, you can uh, make a poncho out of this. You can cut a little face hole out of it. You can stretch it out. Um, you can use some paracord and make basically a tarp, like a little A-frame or lean-to or whatever with these things. You can lay it down as a base layer if you've got something else, like a tarp with you, a small tarp. Um, you can collect water with it they just have a number of uses uh just such a good thing to have packs down really flat like i said you can just lay on it pack this thing full of leaves or pine needles you've got a mattress um now you can uh 
put a rock in the corner, fold it over, and then tie it off with some paracord, and you got some tent stakes if you want to go that far. I don't know if you want to spend that much time, but just keep one of these. I mean, it's they pack down pretty pretty small in a backpack. So, contractor bag. Now, that is bare minimum shelter. That's bare minimum everything for me. Um, I'm going to include now some tools that I think that everybody should have. If you're only commuting an hour, you know, give or take, uh, maybe an hour and a half, maybe 30 minutes, keep a state map. Guys, these Randy McNeely maps, they're really good and they're cheap. I think I paid 10 bucks for this. This thing is fully laminated and I mean, it is hard laminated. You can run a highlighter on this thing, wipe it off later. You can check it under a headlamp and it will glow. Um, really good maps. Uh, if you don't know how to use a map, well, I mean, all you got to do is look at it. It's like Google Maps without the directions, I guess. Uh, keep a state map because we're not talking about land navigation. We're not pulling out compasses and doing all that stuff. We're And if you want to go complete grid down, your Garmin is not going to work, you know, all that stuff. Just... You should know your way home anyway. If you're only commuting an hour and you typically go the same way every day, uh, especially, you know, you want to walk the highway. Um, if you see some trouble, uh, if you see, uh, I don't know, a pro-Palestinian uh, protest going on or something and you want to kind of divert from that, you know, hop in the woods off the shoulder of the road or whatever you can do, work around that, get back on the road that you know. If you think you see some trouble ahead, hop over in the woods. I mean, you've got all this gear with you, you know. If nothing else, just lay down and wait for things to pass if you can, you know. Do whatever you can do. But guys, local maps, local maps. And uh, these are really good, these Randy McNeely maps, or McNally. Um, the, the creeks and the roads, they're pretty well labeled on here, so... Don't worry about a compass. We're not doing all that. You know, you're not trying to say, hey, I'm going to go over this mountain. Um, what is my declination? We're not doing all that stuff, okay? Guys, just a $10 map that is flat. You can get a paper one that folds up even better than this, but I like this one for, uh, you know, the one-hour bag or the one-day bag. So, map. Now, bear gloves. Everybody likes leather gloves. You know, I do too. But I like these here because they're breathable. They've got a rubberized uh, bottom on them. They're pretty grippy, and this will get you through. Um, if you have to move some brush or do some things, you can shoot a gun with these. They're not really bulky. It's like an extra thick layer of skin. So uh, just kind of go with something like this. A lot of uh, brick masons use these. Uh, a lot of landscapers use this kind of thing, you know. Um, just a, a good little pair of gloves anything really better than your skin better than getting cuts and abrasions that you don't need uh 50 foot of paracord minimum um this is minimum like i said uh i like 100 foot but this right here will make you a little shelter with your uh trash bag um or you know whatever else uh, especially if you're not cutting on it if you know how to make your knots and stuff where you can do quick release knots um but you can uh you can make some tent stakes out of wood, use this stuff. Um, you know, uh, uh, this is one, I don't know, 10 bucks maybe at Lowe's or something like that, which is kind of high. But 550 pair cord at least 50 feet. I got a right in the rain pad and I've got a pen and I've got a Sharpie in case you need to write something really big or you might need to leave a message for somebody else saying, hey, I just stumbled on this dangerous spot here uh don't go in here uh also one of the main things is if you have to use your tourniquet and you're about to pass out you get that tourniquet on there and write the time that you uh applied that tourniquet on your skin in case you pass out and somebody knows in case you might be in an amputation kind of situation so um now you need to have some kind of multi-tool some people like swiss army knives i'm a leatherman guy i like having the pliers uh leatherman wave uh it's got the uh, four external, there's two blades, you know, uh, the serrated for cutting, you know, paracord or whatever. Um, this one's got a file that's good for like wood or bone, and it's got the saw on it, which works really good. I've, I've had this thing for a number of years, guys, a long time. It used to be my main pocket knife, but uh, I kind of keep it in the pack now and carry the Benchmade now. So, um, 
get you a good multi-tool or Swiss Army knife. Just kind of keep around just to have a secondary, okay? Uh, get you a roll of duct tape, a small one. This is that digital camo. Take the core out of it, the cardboard out of the center, and flatten it out. I usually keep this in a Ziploc bag because the sides are sticky, um, but my Ziploc bag broke. But uh, anyway, it's pretty flat. Um, what's that like? three quarters of an inch right there uh, you can just slide that down the sleeve of a pack or something like that um, you can repair things like your your tarps uh, you know tents whatever you got with you um, maybe you got one of those like little puffy uh, slick jackets like North Face or Columbia or something like that um, Gorilla Tape is a little bit better uh, I just happen to have this one here is the duct tape brand um, you might get a cut in that. You don't want your cotton falling out. I mean, it could be anything, guys. You might have a leak in your trash bag shelter. You can put a little piece of tape on it. You're good to go. Now, lighting. If it gets dark, and you guys, if you're commuting an hour, and say you work uh, late, you might be second, third shift. Who knows? You need some kind of lighting. Okay? Now, for my EDC, like I said, I've got the uh, handheld flashlight. It's always good to have two kinds of lights. But hands down, if I could only have one kind of light, uh, probably a headlamp because I can still work and use the headlamp. Now, this is an older uh, Black Diamond. I really like this thing. I've had this thing for a long time. I've had it out in the rain. Works really good. Runs off of uh, three AAAs. If you want to, you can go for the rechargeable option. I'm all about dual fuel. So I'm getting ready to order a new one, and it will take rechargeable or the uh, three AAAs. So, and also the new ones have like a lock inversion, so they won't turn on in your pack, which is the issue I've had with this one, but this has been a good one. Um, so this is going to be my around the house and I'm going to get a new one. But anyway, Black Diamond, uh, make pretty good stuff. They're square. They fit really good on your forehead. Um, I bought my wife a Petzl and it's got the, the red, green, and blue light. So it works in different situations for blood tracking. If you're hunting, things like that. Um, one thing I don't like about this old one is if I dial it down to where it's pretty low and i turn it off i turn it back on it goes to full brightness so think about that um i like to set my light and then when i turn it back on i want it to be where i set it at before um but this has been a good light it's just time to kind of move that one on to uh, around the house use and get a new one okay now on to my extras guys that is the bare minimum uh that I think that anybody should have and that doesn't weigh a lot it's not a lot to carry around it depends on your pack and how bulky you want to get um, well okay as far as extras go this is not really an extra but it kind of is it depends on the season and it depends on you so I like to have enough extra room in my pack to where uh, even in the summertime guys where I live at it's uh, it gets up to high 90s and I've even seen it to like 103 here before but it also gets cold here too um, a fleece pullover like the half zip you know just kind of a long sleeve fleece pullover guys even in the summertime like i said it gets cool and at night if you're laying on the ground you might want an extra layer you might have a breeze if you're near water you're probably gonna have some kind of a breeze it's nice to just throw something on and along with that uh your head might get cold so you get like a little thin carhartt these things are like 12 bucks i think uh just a little beanie um socks underwear and that's pretty much it for extra clothes. Uh, it's good to have these kinds of things. You never know what's going to happen. They go down to the bottom of the pack. Now, for extras, I love a shemog. I really do. Um, things have changed and times are changing. So, a lot of uh, pro-Palestinian protesters and things like that, and a lot of things are going on. Uh, if you wrap your head in something like that, guys, I'm not going to lie, and I'm not trying to beat up on anybody here, but you might look like one of them, or you might look like a, uh, a Muslim, or somebody with a hijab, or whatever you call it. Um, I know these things are big with, like, you know, ex-military guys, survivalist guys, and they have a ton of uses. It's like a giant bandana that can keep you warm, can filter water, you can do all the stuff, you can lay stuff out on the ground, like I've got this wool blanket here on the back of the truck. Um, they just have a ton of uses and they are really good to have. Um, but be mindful of your situation. You don't want to, uh, see a bunch of civil unrest if you're working in the city 
and uh, you're cold and you throw that thing around your head and you're like well i'm gonna work around this mess and you might see like uh, some people that are against that that see you coming out of there and say hey are you one of them you know trying to sneak off i mean you never know guys so i love my shamag i really do uh but i'm kind of thinking about not carrying it anymore just because of that and i hate that i really do i hate it because i want it with me so something to consider it's it's got so many uses but the one negative thing about it now uh it kind of almost outweighs all the uses it you know it, just personal preference i guess that's just kind of how i see it but shamogs are freaking awesome they are absolutely great uh they can help disguise you a little bit but they could also undisguise you and make you look like uh an affiliate of a party that you are not a part of so think about that i haven't seen anybody mention that um online and i just thought that i would throw that out there now uh oh i forgot one thing spare batteries um this is a maxpedition thing it comes with the case you don't have to use the case i don't but uh it holds one two three four five six uh triple a's on one side and four of the cr one two threes on the other side so i can refuel my uh handheld flashlight um twice and my headlamp twice with this so and it's supposed to be waterproof i don't know there's a little bit of a gap in there but uh it stays inside the pack anyway um the lithium ion batteries uh they have a longer shelf life than these alkaline type batteries here i don't know if you can see that um but it protects them it keeps like you know if they were to corrode it's not going to get all over your stuff inside the pack so consider that for your headlamp and your flashlights i am a talking about extras i'm a big fan of the uh rain ponchos ponchos are big enough uh this is rip stop material um and so is the poncho the bag is the same this is the usgi industries rain poncho it's made like your standard uh military poncho it's got grommets in it it's got snaps uh, you can make shelters out of it you can use the hood to collect water while you're sitting under it you can do anything with these ponchos you can put it on over top of yourself and your pack and keep walking you can pretty much outfit these things in any way possible you can lay it down as a base layer so it is way better than having one of these trash bags but if you were using this as an a-frame or a lean-to and you're sitting under it um and it's pouring down rain and the ground's already wet you can have one of these trash bags and lay down and lay on top of that so you've kind of got an open tent um i keep that with me it doesn't weigh much it doesn't take up a whole lot of room you know here's my hand so it's really not that big it doesn't hardly weigh anything um guys it's got a hood built into it like i said you can configure it different ways ponchos are awesome uh whether you're tall or short if you're really really short um you can kind of fold it up and snap it so it doesn't drag the ground it's just a great thing you've got like a tent that you can wear around so consider that um that thing is close to like 40 bucks now i think so i get it if you don't want to but in an emergency if it's dumping down rain and you just want to walk you will stay dry and it will keep airflow in it too so now as far as extras go since i've got that and i'm going to have it with me uh one thing that i'm going to keep with me is in this bandana i've got some uh tent stakes rolled up and these are the cheap you know walmart 98 cent a piece i think or less these uh they kind of hook so um they will bend if you hit a rock and you're hammered in but i mean what do you do you're surviving um hook that into the grommet holes of your poncho and pull it tight you don't have to sit there and tie a paracord to it and you know like the other ones and make all these loops and things like that uh like you would do with your uh sort of triangle shaped um tent stakes and these roll up pretty good um, like i said they're cheap i just throw them in a bandana fold it over a couple of times roll it up so that's an extra for me that i'm gonna have with me um one more extra that uh to me could also be like a morale booster is like i said i hate mosquitoes so i've got this bug net that'll go over your head it'll go over a large hat not like a cowboy hat but it'll go over you know pretty big maybe not even a beekeeper hat but um 
and it'll you know if you had to lay down for a little bit and you got some sleeves on and you're waiting for the mosquitoes to go away guys this thing is like it's nothing look I, i've wadded it up there's nothing there no weight no room and one thing that i was not going to add to this bag because it's supposed to be bare minimum but if you wanted to a get yourself like a 30 to 40 dollar good fixed blade knife just in case you needed it these glock filled knives i like them because it's got this uh with the polymer and everything you can slide that hook over you can clip it on the side of your pack or your belt or whatever you want to do you just kind of push that to the side and pull it out it's got a drain hole in the bottom it's basically a big field knife um, this one looks like crap because i've uh bled out hogs with it but it's super sharp it's like 1095 steel it's not full tang but you can pop the cap off the bottom you can put a stick in there drive a nail or something through there and you've got a spear guys uh this is a pretty good self-defense weapon if you have nothing else if you're not a gun person um like i said this video is for everybody you don't have to carry a gun to watch my channel wish you did but um it's got a bottle opener on there this is a tough knife it used to be my go-to camping knife back when i was learning what i was doing um it's balanced really well you could even throw it if you had to in a situation it is uh like three sixteenths thick i think um you can beat on it you're not going to tear this knife up and even if you did even if you broke the handle off of it you could uh rough that up on a rock wrap some tape around it and make a handle and you still got a small knife so that's what i like about it i thought it's pretty cool um it's cheap and if i lost it who cares it was like like i said 30 to 40 bucks now one thing i want to mention and i'm trying not to make this video run forever but i am the stuff the pack that you carry your stuff in guys i like the max edition pygmy falcon twos um, i'm not going to get into the bag but uh, a couple features i like external water bottle holders because you can reach out you can grab your water you can take a drink you can keep going you don't have to mess all your stuff um black backpacks if they have wally molly webbing on them uh you don't want to look like you know you're carrying some kind of military style backpack for whatever reason and draw attention guys these black backpacks if you attach things to them that are black like this knife from a distance you can't really tell what the, it looks like a standard east pack or you know something a college kid or high school kid would carry so the black stuff if you're going to go military uh i like the other colors better i just like the way they look but the black it makes more sense so you're more of a gray man in that area okay so that's pretty much all i've got for this video guys um, i hope that this kind of gives you a pretty good idea of uh where to start if you don't have anything and uh, if you do have some stuff, maybe this kind of gives you some ideas, okay? All right, guys, it ran a little bit longer than I wanted it to. I've actually redone this, and it ended up being longer, so sorry. I like to run my mouth. But uh, I want to uh, make sure that anybody watching my channel, that uh, somebody stumbles across it, doesn't really have an idea of where to start. Guys, this, to me, like I said, is bare minimum with a few extras um, this is bare minimum that I'm going to carry with me in this type of situation. Um, guys, you want to get home to your family, especially, especially if uh, you got a family waiting on you or something like that, and uh, you got resources waiting on you, and you don't want to have to use those up when you get there. So just a few things to consider. I appreciate you watching. I really do, guys. Um, every one of my subscribers, thanks. Uh, it makes me want to keep doing this stuff. So have a lot of fun doing it and everything. Uh, number one thing to remember though is to protect, provide, and prepare. Um, that's just kind of what I tell myself every morning when I get up out of bed is make sure I can get home to my family, do what I need to do, and take care of myself. So you guys take care of yourselves and we will see you next time. Pine Box Perspective and we are out of here.